good YouTube? It's your girl, Isla Life, back with another video. It is currently 11.30 on this beautiful Sunday. My room is actually disgusting. Like, I cannot live like this. So I just woke up, haven't ate, I haven't washed my face, I haven't brushed my teeth, and I haven't even showered from the bar last night. Mmm, I know, I know. You do not have to, don't have to tell me twice. So pretty much everything in my life is absolutely disgusting right now. But I need to start cleaning my room before I have an actual mental breakdown. So I was thinking we could do a little chit chat, clean my room with me, because let's take a tour of my room. Let's do a before and after of my room. I mean, just absolutely ew. Bed's not made, pillowcases are dirty so unorganized where is my other laundry basket like where actually is it oh uh, my little chill area like where are you chilling at there's no room to do absolutely anything it's disgusting all these clothes and my fucking ponytail my dresser let me just start with my dresser because this is the simplest thing to pick up i feel like I definitely need to give you guys a life update, but I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know how to start. So much stuff happens in my life every day. There, I just don't even know what to share with you. Okay, so I think it's been two weeks now. I got my tongue pierced two weeks ago. And I've been wanting a tongue piercing since I was like eight. Like for the longest time I've been wanting my tongue pierced because my aunt had one and I was, I don't know, I guess I just thought it was so cool. So I'm 20 and I finally got it. If there's one thing I can say, I am done with piercings for the rest of my life. I said that after I got another ear piercing because that hurts so bad. I don't know what it is. I'm cool with tattoos. I can do tattoos. I'm getting more tattoos piercings hurt so bad it's ridiculous so definitely after this tongue piercing i'm done nothing else needs to be pierced that was honestly one of the craziest healing processes i've ever been through could not talk the first day or two really i if i could have went like three days without talking i would have but i have to talk for my job so hurt so bad the first few days to talk could really only eat soft foods and by soft foods like liquidy stuff because even chewing mac and cheese or something like that it was too like it would just touch my tongue and i was having to put like i would have to pick food up and stick it in the side of my mouth so it wouldn't hit my tongue at all for like the first week which is crazy and I developed a crazy lisp the first few days. Like day one, day two was cool, but then day three, day four, day five, day six, it sounded like I had a real life speech impediment. So that was kind of embarrassing because unless you tell people, people don't know that you have your tongue pierced. Like people were just thinking I didn't know how to speak. <laughs> But it's been two weeks now and I actually have to go next week to get my bar changed for a shorter bar, bar because it's pretty long right now. And I haven't really had any problems with it. Like, the healing process was hard, but... You know what? While we're at it, let's do what's in my purse. Aquaphor. Gotta stay strapped with the Aquaphor and this bitch is literally almost empty so I need to get more face lotion because you never know when your face might get a little dry and that's not cute so you might need a little bit of lotion this is only for my face though we got mouthwash because with my tongue piercing i had to slash still kind of have to rinse after everything i eat so it's just easier if i keep it in a little container like this in my purse we have a disposable camera 
has six pictures left on it so I need to get to taking pictures we've got some papers Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. What else? What's in here? It's actually good because I need to clean out my purse too. Oh, two eczema creams because my eczema is insane. This is the first year I've had eczema in my life and it's killing me. We have Mocha's little chain with her little name on it. Isn't it so cutie? Yes. So this uh, needs to go somewhere. Next pocket. Oh my god. Another eczema cream. <laughs> oh my god. Some more lip gloss. I should really organize this. Jesus. Okay. Two more pockets to go. Nail glue. Oh my god, it broke. Didn't spill in my purse, though. Nail glue. Just in case, you never know. Your friend might need it, too. Like, stay ready. We got some cash. $30. Ooh. And a little mirror. In case you need to fix your lashes or something. Or you just need to... See if your makeup is creasing, you know. And that was my 2023 what's in my purse. I'm actually getting so irritated. I've been trying to order this food since I woke up. But for some reason, they are not delivering right now. And I am not going in there to pick it up. No. Because that means I need to shower and wash my face and do my hair and get ready. And I'm not ready to do that right now. I need to eat first. I'm going to give it till 12. Okay. They just opened at 11. It's 11.51. And if they're not ready to deliver by 12, we're going to have a problem. It's looking like I'm going to have to order food to go pick it up. So, I'm going to separate my laundry now so I can get this started while I'm out getting food so it can be like done by the time I get back. I don't know about y'all, but I separate my laundry very specifically. Blacks, dark things dark really dark colors is one whites just whites or like really light grays is another and then colorful things bright orange pink red things like that ew these stink ew what the fuck Literally all of my clothes are dirty right now. Like I do not have any clean clothes to wear. Bro, I've been looking for this dress. I haven't worn this dress in over a month. Which means I have not done laundry. And there's fucking trash in here. This is embarrassing. This is not an accurate this is not an accurate representation of how I usually live my life. I must just be going through something right now. Okay, well, I got dressed and almost fully ready to go. But I thought, let me just call to make sure. Because I couldn't place an order for pickup either. The whole restaurant has no power. So. And I get real grumpy when I can't get the food that I want. <laughs> but I ordered from somewhere else. And it's going to be here in like 30 minutes. So, now we basically have a 30 minute timer set to see how much cleaning we can get done in 30 minutes. Laundry, first load of laundry is in the washing machine. Dresser is being wiped down for the finishing touches. 
and then we need to start on that area. The other thing I was going to say was I'm getting my teeth done on Wednesday. I am so excited. I've had braces. I had braces for like two and a half years. And my teeth are pretty perfect. I paid for my own braces with my own money when I was mad young and everything's fine. Like teeth aren't shifting or whatever, but I just have these little gaps next to my big teeth. Next to my big teeth. What? Anyways, I have gap a little I have some gaps still just because my teeth are a little undersized. I already went to the dentist and he told me all this. Um, two of my teeth on either side are a little undersized. So that's why I have those gaps. Like they can't be closed anymore with braces. They're in the position they're supposed to be in. So I'm going to get my teeth whitened, cleaned, and some composite bonding to lengthen my two teeth that are a little bit undersized so everything looks more straight and to fill the gaps. I have no idea how much it's gonna be. I honestly don't even care. Like I'm actually just so excited. I have no words. I'm a little bit nervous because like I said, I feel like my teeth are already pretty perfect. Like, I would be happy if I died with my teeth like this. Like, it's not a huge insecurity of mine. But I just want them to be perfect. And then, if you know, you know, I have grills for my bottom teeth. And I've been wanting to get a matching set for my top teeth since I got my bottom grills. Which was, like, five years ago. But I've had so many... Just little issues with my teeth still shifting from like not wearing retainers, wearing retainers, trying to get them back in place again that I just, it wasn't going to be worth it to spend the couple hundred dollars it is to get grills if my teeth were still shifting. So I just didn't want to risk wasting the money. But now that my teeth are literally going to be perfect, I can finally do whatever I want with my top. Like I can get top caps i can get grills i can get some custom shit i can get shit to match my bottom one so excited all these clothes are clean and folded obviously i just need to put them away one of my biggest pet peeves is when my room smells bad like it doesn't smell bad but it doesn't smell good like it doesn't smell clean and that's what it's giving right now. It's giving not clean. I've been looking for my wallet for over a week. I've been driving around with no driver's license because it's in my wallet. And I haven't been able to find it. So that's great. <laughs> table like I don't even smoke anymore I haven't smoked in probably almost three months not because I wanted to stop I just forget to smoke sometimes <laughs> like I'd be so tired I'd just be going straight to bed but I don't know where to put this I don't know what to do with this this is when my ADHD starts kicking in and then I don't finish cleaning my room because I don't know where to keep, I don't know what to keep doing. I'm so sad. These shorts are so cute. I found them. I was going through all my clothes the other week just to see like what I don't want anymore, what doesn't fit me, what I can give away. And I found these shorts and I was like, these are mad cute. <clears throat> they do not fit me at all. And they're like brand new. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. So I'm going to keep them. 
I'm gonna keep them because I'm sad and I don't know what to do with them yet. Time to start our second load of laundry. <laughs> I got a load of laundry in the washing machine right now. There's a load in the dryer. We got two more loads to do. Excuse me, Mocha. Thank you. Like, how did I go through three bonnets? And why are they all on my bed? Like, did I wear a different bonnet every night? It's actually really possible that I did wear a different bonnet every night <laughs> because this weekend was a lot. Went out Friday night, went out last night, Friday night, what did we do Friday? Oh, Friday was a pool party and then we immediately left from the pool party to I took people home actually I didn't even go home did I go home no I went back to my bestie's house and got ready with everybody right because what did I wear I have no idea I'm getting my nights and days confused but anyways we went to the pool party got drunk went out got drunk got more drunker and it was so hot. The way sweat was dripping in places that sweat should just not have been dripping at that time was disgusting. Then I came home, got in a massive argument. And so I went to sleep like off of being drunk. Oh my God, I smoked too. Like what? I don't know. It was a fun ass night. But then I got home got in an argument, and went to bed. Didn't shower, didn't take my makeup off. Actually, yes, I did take my makeup off. I did do that. And I slept right on my top sheet with that blanket. So, and I just washed my bedding three days ago. So now, I haven't slept in my bed with my nice comfy sheets all weekend I slept on top of my bed last night too because I didn't shower after the bar last night either which is so disgusting by the way I usually don't do that but if I'm getting home at 4 a.m. I'm not fucking showering I'm beyond a point past exhausted like there is no showering happening happening so now I need to rewash my top sheet because my dirty ass was laying on it Ugh. should be a shirt in here. Where is it? Here. I got another shirt too. I haven't worn it yet though, so I think it's already in my closet. But I got this shirt and these pants from IMG. Because I don't know if y'all saw, but they were having a massive 70% off sale. So I said, mm, yeah, absolutely. These are honestly the best pants that I own. And I don't remember how much they were, but yet they were 70% off. And they're such good quality, and they fit so nice. And they're heavy, but they're not thick. Like, you don't get hot, but they're heavy. Like, they feel good. And then this shirt is just cute and simple. It's kind of like 
built like a beater and it snatches the fuck out of you. <laughs> shirt I got tell me this isn't so cute like hello and I'm saying I'm trying to tell you like the quality is insane like it's thick it's heavy but it's not hot like you don't get hot I also got this recently too let me make it look nice I tried it on but I haven't really worn it yet it's the body by Raven set if y'all know, you know. And if you don't know, then you need to know. I got the light blue. The pants are inside out too, but it's just gonna have to stay like that. Still got the tags on them. And I tried this on. When you guys see these Instagram pictures and the way it snatched my body. Insane. Okay, here's the situation. Here's the problem. I've been avoiding putting away my clothes for so long because I have no more hangers and I have no more space in my closet for more hangers. So all this stuff I was putting on the floor is either like a pant that has a matching shirt that's already in my closet or vice versa. So all of that already has a hanger. But all of this and... I mean, I guess this is actually the last of it. All of this does not have a hanger. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And a lot of my, like, tank tops or little tiny shirts are already doubled up. Tripled. There's, like, five shirts on one hanger. Dresses, too. I have mad dresses on one hanger. Okay, what do we need? We need one, two, three four, five, six, seven. I need to make seven more hangers. That's a lot. Can I do it? Can I do it? I'm so upset. I got this shirt from Urban and it's so cute. Cuts like this, but it, I got it in a size too small. Still fits, but it's so small that it's incredibly see-through. So I have no idea how I'm going to wear this. Even if I wear a tan bra or I even tried to put a white shirt under it, it's so thin you can see my shirt and you can still see my bra through it, which sucks. Isn't this skirt so cutie? I haven't even worn it yet. Still has a tag on it. I have finally done all of my laundry. Everything is clean, everything is put away, everything is where it's supposed to be, and it's smelling so good in here. I still haven't showered or done anything that I need to do for myself personally today, but it's fine. Fresh clean sheets on a hoe. Yup. Okay, y'all, it is 7 o'clock. I have literally been cleaning my room all day. All day. <laughs> Everything is clean. It smells so good in here. I just got a shower. I'm about to eat some dinner. Let me show y'all what my room is looking like now. Okay, so boom, bed is made. Didn't make it super perfect because I'm literally about to get in it and go to sleep. All my laundry is done. 
This is my little OCD corner over here. All my jewelry, all my perfumes, all organized. And then my dresser. Actually, I still need to take care of this, but I really just don't know what to do with it yet. But all of this is all organized. All my makeup's put away. All my skincare and lotion. My little chill area is all clean too. Nothing on the floor. I mean, that's Mocha's bone, but nothing on the floor floor no clothes anywhere everything is in its place and wiped down and clean i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you all were able to get some cleaning done with me if you like this video and you want to see more like room organization room cleaning stuff like that give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed obviously and make sure your post notifications are turned on so you know when i upload and like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye